In this video, we are going to look at some of the basic rules for finding the derivative of a given function. We know that the derivative dy by dx is defined as the limit of the difference quotient del y by del x as del x tends to zero. If we adopt shorthand symbols q for the difference quotient del y by del x and v for the change in the variable x that is del x we have dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to limit of the difference quotient del y by del x as del x tends to zero which is equal to limit of q as v tends to zero in this case the derivative is defined as the limit of the difference quotient q which is a function of v as v tends to zero now given the function y is equal to f of x which is equal to 6x squared minus 8 let us find the derivative of this given function now since the derivative of a given function is the limit of the difference quotient so first of all we need to find the difference quotient we know that the difference quotient del y by del x which is the average rate of change is equal to the ratio of the change in y by the change in x now by simplifying the difference quotient del y by del x is equal to 6 del x plus 12 x subscript 0 finally the derivative is obtained by taking the limit of the difference quotient dy by dx or f prime x that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the limit of the difference quotient delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x is equal to 6 delta x plus 12 x subscript 0 now as delta x tends to 0 that is the value of x becomes closer and closer to 0 but never actually reaches 0 the derivative of the function is obtained by dropping all the terms involving delta x by doing so dy by dx or f prime x that is the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 12 x subscript 0 however given a function it is time consuming to undertake the process of limit taking each time we need to find its derivative there are certain rules of differentiation which will enable us to obtain the desired derivative directly without undertaking the process of limit taking now let us look at some of the rules of differentiation of a few simple functions the first rule is the constant function rule the derivative of a constant function y is equal to k or f of x is equal to k is identically zero that is zero for all values of x so given a function y is equal to fx is equal to k now since the function y takes a constant value of k the derivative of the function is equal to zero here dy by dx implies the derivative of y with respect to x if the function y takes a constant value of 7 the derivative of the function that is dy by dx is equal to 0 again if the function takes a constant value of 10 the derivative of the function is equal to 0 therefore the derivative of any function which takes a constant value is equal to 0 the next rule is the power function rule the derivative of a power function y is equal to f of x which is equal to x to the power n is n x n minus 1 symbolically the dx of x n is equal to n we write the exponent first x then the exponent minus 1 or f prime x is equal to n x n minus 1 for the special case of n is equal to 1 the derivative of x is the constant 1 now the dx of x to the power 1 is equal to 1 x 1 minus 1 by simplifying we have x superscript 0 which is equal to 1 since x superscript 0 is equal to 1 therefore the dx of x is equal to 1 now let us do some problem on power function rule now they have given a function y is equal to x square in the solution we will write dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y now since 
the function y takes the value of x square so in place of y i am going to write x square now we are going to use this formula here n takes the value of 2 now dx n is equal to n x n minus 1 so dx to the power 2 will be equal to 2 x 2 minus 1 now 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we can simply write 2x next they have given a function y is equal to x to the power 5 and the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y since y is equal to x to the power 5 in place of y i am going to write x power 5 now here n takes the value of 5 d dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 so d dx to the power 5 is equal to 5 x to the power 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so the answer is 5 x to the power 4 next we have a function y is equal to x to the power 5 by 2 so here n takes the value of 5 by 2 dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y since y is equal to x to the power 5 by 2 so in place of y i am going to write down x to the power 5 by 2 now ddx of x n is equal to n x n minus 1 so ddx of x to the power 5 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2 x to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 5 by 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 by 2 so here i have shown how did we get 3 by 2 let us look at the next problem now they have given a function y is equal to x to the power minus 5 by 2 now dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y now y is equal to x to the power minus 5 by 2 so in place of y we will write down x to the power minus 5 by 2 now n in this case is equal to minus 5 by 2 d dx of x to the power n is equal to n x n minus 1 so d dx of x to the power minus 5 by 2 is equal to minus 5 by 2 x minus 5 by 2 minus 1 minus 5 by 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 7 by 2 let us look at the next problem now they have given a function y is equal to 1 by x to the power 7 so dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to d dx of y now y is equal to 1 by x to the power 7 so in place of y i am going to write down 1 by x to the power 7 now here are some of the rules of exponents if we have a variable raised to some power by taking its reciprocal the sign of the exponent change in the first case we have a variable raised to a negative power by taking its reciprocal the sign of the exponent change in the second case we have 1 by x to the power n by taking its reciprocal we have x to the power minus n in the third case we have 1 by x to the power minus n in each case by taking reciprocal the sign of the exponent changes now the reciprocal of 1 by x to the power 7 is x to the power minus 7 so in this case n takes the value of negative 7 now the dx of x to the power n is n x n minus 1 so the dx of x to the power minus 7 is equal to minus 7 x to the power minus 7 minus 1 so the answer is minus 7 x minus 7 minus 1 is equal to minus 8 let us look at the next problem so we have a function y is equal to 
cubic root of variable x. Now n root of x to the power m can also be written as x to the power m by n. The power of x in this case is 1 so m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 3. So cubic root x can also be written as x to the power 1 by 3. So instead of writing ddx of cubic root x, we will write down ddx of x to the power 1 by 3. So n in this case is 1 by 3. ddx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. So ddx of x to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 x 1 by 3 minus 1. So the answer is dy by dx is equal to 1 by 3 x to the power minus 2 by 3. Let us look at the next problem. Now they have given a function y is equal to within bracket quad root of x to the power 5. Now quad root of x can also be written as x to the power 1 by 4. x to the power 1 by 4 power 5 is equal to x to the power 5 by 4. Since x to the power m power n is equal to x m times n. dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y. Now in place of y we will write down ddx within bracket quad root of x to the power 5. Now in place of quad root of x to the power 5 we will write down ddx of x to the power 5 by 4. Now n in this case is equal to 5 by 4. ddx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. So ddx of x to the power 5 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4 x to the power 5 by 4 minus 1. So the answer is dy by dx is equal to 5 by 4 x to the power 1 by 4. The next rule is the constant function rule generalize or the constant times a function rule. When a multiplicative constant such as c appears in the function so that fx is equal to c x to the power n its derivative is the constant times the derivative of the function the dx of c x to the power n is equal to the constant c times the derivative of x to the power n the dx of x to the power n is equal to n x n minus 1 or f prime x that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to constant c n x n minus 1. <clears throat> Let us look at the first problem. Now they have given a function y is equal to 4x. Now in the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y. Since y is equal to 4x in place of y I am going to write down 4 x. In this case 4 is a constant. So the dx of constant times a function is equal to the constant times the derivative of the function. So the dx of 4x is equal to 4 the dx of x. Now since the dx of x is equal to 1 therefore the answer is dy by dx is equal to 4. Let us look at the next problem. They have given a function y is equal to 16x square. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dx of y. Now y is equal to 16x square. So in place of y we will write down 16x to the power 2. So here we have constant times a function. The dx of constant times the function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. So ddx of 16x square is equal to 16 ddx of x to the power 2. ddx of x to the power n is equal to n x n minus 1. So ddx of x to the power 2 is equal to 
to x 2 minus 1. Now 16 times 2 is equal to 32 x to the power 1 which is equal to 32 x. Let us look at the next problem. They have given a function y is equal to minus 4 x cubed. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y. Now since y is equal to minus 4 x cubed in place of y we will write down minus 4 x to the power 3. Now this is a constant times a function. ddx of constant times a function is equal to constant times derivative of the function. So ddx of minus 4 x to the power 3 is equal to minus 4 ddx of x to the power 3. Now ddx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. So ddx of x to the power 3 is equal to 3 x 3 minus 1 minus times plus is equal to minus 4 times 3 equals 12 x 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So this is our answer. Let us look at the next problem. They have given a function y is equal to negative x to the power minus 4. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to minus x to the power minus 4. The coefficient of x in this case is 1. ddx of constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. So ddx of minus x to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 1 ddx of x to the power minus 4. Now ddx of x to the power n is equal to n x n minus 1. So ddx of x to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 4 x to the power minus 4 minus 1. So minus times minus is equal to plus 1 times 4 is equal to 4 x to the power minus 4 minus 1 is equal to minus 5. So this is our answer. The next rule is the square root rule. The derivative of a function involving square root that is y is equal to f of x is equal to root x is 1 by 2 root x. Symbolically ddx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x or f prime x is equal to 1 by 2 root root x. In the first problem, they have given a function y is equal to root x. In the solution, we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of root x. So ddx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Let us look at the next problem. Now they have given a function y is equal to 4 root x. In the solution we will write down dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to ddx of y which is equal to ddx of 4 root x. This is a constant times a function. ddx of a constant times a function is equal to constant times the derivative of the function. So ddx of 4 root x is equal to 4 ddx of root x ddx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Cancelling the numerator and denominator, we have 2 by root x. So this is our answer. So the above rules are some of the rules of differentiation for finding the derivative of some simple functions. In the next video, we are going to discuss the exponential and logarithmic rule for finding the derivative of a function.